on. I know, but I'm back. Anyway, hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's all of my hair. If this is your first time seeing my face, hi, hello, welcome. If this is my first, but for first time seeing my face, welcome back. So in case you're wondering who is this girl and why does she look like a crazy person on camera, my name is Olama and I'm 19. I'm currently doing my internship as a microbiology student at I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. I think you should be allowed to say that. So anyway, I'm doing my internship at and this is actually my last week and i just said you know what i've been wanting to come back to youtube for a while now and so yeah um i just finished twisting my hair which is why my hair is all over the place i really don't know what i want to do with my hair i just know that i didn't want to make my hair knowing that this would be my last week so i'm just going to put a scarf on my head right now and flatten it to the back so that hopefully tomorrow it will be flat enough for me to just like tie scarves on it because i don't want to wear a wig so yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do make sure you subscribe if you haven't already subscribed like the video and share it as well Bye. on this day i woke up around 6 a.m and when i got to work it was a rainy day Usually at work, I disinfect the desks before I start anything, but on this day, it had already been done, so I just checked what media we needed for that day. As you can see here, I am getting the aluminum foil papers ready. So usually we use these to like measure the agar powder and then also use the excess to seal the conical flask before we put them in the autoclave so here i'm just cutting out tiny squares for measuring usually we put a little bit of water in the conical flask first before we pour media into it here my supervisor is putting the media and measuring it to the appropriate weight because on this day we're measuring i think we're making nutrient agar um blood chocolate and mac yeah that's what we're making on this particular day so you can see me shaking and making sure the powder completely dissolves before i turn it in <laughs> okay so that's power yeah, this guy. Oh, nobody's looking for you i can help you i can do it <laughs> Oh yeah, come on, me. Oh, you know Yes. You're wearing a face mask. Oh yeah, yeah. At this point, we had finished and we put the media into the autoclave to get sterilized before we could do anything else. At this point, we had urine samples, so I just took the samples to the sink so I could work on them. Usually, when we have urine samples, we have to make sure that we label the tubes properly with the names so that we do not mix up the samples. labeling the tubes with the name of the patient i collect little amounts of urine from each sample into the respective tubes and i have to make sure that the urine is equal in both tubes so that my centrifuge will be balanced after doing that i take the urine samples and put them in the centrifuge and spin them for five minutes At this point, I start to bring out the petri dishes that we will use to pour out the media that we are preparing. Okay, I think I need to go and collect blood. Oh, that's too much. So I forgot to actually collect blood because we are preparing blood eager. So here I am going to the phlebotomy to ask for universal tubes. And I'm going to be taking these tubes upstairs to the lab to collect blood. Why, why are we recording? Will you help me?
So right now we're about to collect blood because we want to prepare. Look at how confused you are looking in the background. <laughs> we want to prepare um chocolate and blood eager. So we need to collect blood now with this one here. And so that's what we're going to do. We're only going to collect blood from the two that are uh, purple in color. And that's all. <laughs> so we do want to say hi. <laughs> do you want to say anything? Is that all? Yes. Okay. Anyway, let's so I'm not sure I explained that properly because I was shy. However, what we do here is take blood samples from the purple tubes, those are the EDTA tubes, and we only take a little, we make sure we shake them, not shake, just like rotate them a bit and then take only a little bit of blood from each purple tube until we fill up the universal tubes. I just want to give a big shout out to Toby for helping me, and not even just helping me, but he was actually one of the first interns to actually speak to me when I came here, so shout out to i love you i think you guys should follow his tiktok yeah or his instagram i'll ask him which one he wants me to shout out yeah. Thank you so much. Hello. 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 So I actually forgot to film the process of pouring the blood into the nutrient eager but it's actually one of the prettiest things ever at least to me but anyway my supervisor is just pouring it out and after we're done dispensing the blood eager we will begin to heat, heat up whatever is left over until it turns dark brown that's actually how you get chocolate eager so chocolate eager is literally just blood eager but heated up so that the blood cells hemolyze and turn brown that's just you know the basics of it usually after the aga has been dispensed i actually label them to ensure that i differentiate aga plates that have the same color with each other at this point my supervisor was just putting antibiotics to some samples that we had inoculated earlier after that she let me take over with the stool samples I don't know if you guys remember how excited I was in the earlier clips of this video when I was told that I could do this but trust me you guys I regretted it I was told to wear a mask but then I didn't think the smell would be that bad you guys it was that bad do not be like me wear a mask when you want to inoculate stool samples at the end of each inoculation you're supposed to make sure you sterilize your wire in the flames of this red box so right now we're currently having a lab meeting which is something we do every Monday. So I'm going to go to the lab now for the meeting. <laughs> I feel like the No, what are you? Wait! I saw the camera, but I didn't want to talk. So, right now, Toby wants me to take his pictures. My scarf is literally falling off my head. Toby, are you ready to take pictures? Oh. Are you ready to take pictures? Mm -hmm. Okay, so come and take pictures now. Okay, that's one. That's one. So, we are officially leaving. Well, I'm leaving. He's here, but we just need to get his pictures. This thing. You don't want to be in it. I don't mind. Exactly. So why are you complaining? <laughs> anyway, I'm on my way home. I'm actually going to meet my mom first. And then from my mom, I'm going home. And I'm excited to go home because I'm tired. I'm tired of working. 